Hey guys, Hop here for TFB TV. We are at Shotshow 2024. If you can hear that siren in the background, it's because we just stole a bunch of guns from the PSA booth and we are hiding in a closet so we can talk about them. Uh, this year, you guys showed up to the show with just like a truck full of prototypes, not all of which are ready to go, but it seemed like to some extent you guys are trying to gauge interest. And the thing that immediately caught my eye was three new models of the Jackal and uh, hoping you could walk us through the, the new Jackal stuff. Absolutely. So uh, right here we have our 308 Jackal. Uh, so we built it off of the same design that we had in the 556 models. Um, a couple of design improvements that we put in here that we're kind of testing now to see how they do. Um, definitely one of the ones that we're excited to show here is I know it's one that a lot of people have been asking for for the last couple of years since we released the Jackal. Um, our initial release is going to be in a 13.7 and 14.5. So it will come pin and welded with different muzzle devices for different suppressors, whatever you can want. Uh, and yeah, nah, really excited about it. Yeah, so not too much going on there. I mean, it's still the same uh, Jackal, which is the long stroke piston design. And then, you know, you just had to beef it up for 308, essentially. Absolutely, absolutely. So there are you know, new components in here, but all the components are based off of the original design. Obviously, it has to be larger. You got a little bit more pressure, a little bit more recoil. Um, but it is the same tried and true Jackal design that we've been producing for the last couple of years. So yeah, main main things about the Jackal, you have long stroke, adjustable gas piston, monolithic upper, uh, and if it's in larger frame sizes, that means 308, probably 65, three more possibly, and yes, sir. stuff like that. Yes, sir. Perfect, yeah. That's exactly what people were asking for. That one's the simple one. Now it's about to get weird. Let's go, let's go here first, yeah. Yeah, all right. What is that? So this is the Vuk. So we wanted to do something kind of weird, kind of crazy. We actually took the uh, existing Jackal design and put it on a new Sabre KS lower. Uh, so this will take a rock and lock magazine. We're going to release it in 5.56 first. Uh, it come with a couple of weird new things, though. So the gas block is going to be a front sight combo. Uh, it also come with an AK rear sight uh, attached to the pick rail. Um, like I said, initially we are going to release this in a 5.56. Uh, we're looking at possibly doing other calibers, but with the ammo availability right now, 5.56 really just made sense. It's like just the unholy result of a menage a trois between an AR, an AK, and the Jackal. There's like little bits of all three of those in there. But yeah, this one's really definitely cool. Yeah. So this could be in 5.45, 7.62x39, 5.56, all, all those are possibilities. Yes, uh, you know, eventually that is, we're looking at doing it in multiple different calibers. Like I said, the first one we're going to release is going to be a 5.56. So you got an AK front sight gas block, but with still the Jackal adjustable gas system. Absolutely. And then side charging. Uh, and then since it is, the Jackal is a long stroke piston. That's essentially the same operating system as an AK. So, yeah. Absolutely. I like this more than I've liked any AK in my life. Yeah, part of what we're doing is bringing all these new concept guns here. Well, like say we can do anything, we can't do everything. Uh, so, you know, if you like any of the Jackals, you like any of the bolt guns that you see, uh, please go on our website. We actually have a poll. Uh, so you can tell us at PSA, you know, what you're excited about seeing, and we can start working on that and prioritize them. I see how you guys can announce, you know, 100 possible products, and then you have to ask the, you know, the people, which ones of these do you guys want to see enter full production? Or just what order do you want to see them enter production? Because it seems like an inevitability at this point that you guys are going to make all of this stuff absolutely including absolutely. the next one so first you guys tried to make me like the ak and now you're trying to make me like bull pups so what is going on here this is our psa olkin so this is going to be our bull pup jackal uh we took the uh same tried and true jackal design uh, made some modifications and then you know developed an entire lower to have it in a bullpup design. Um, this is again is one of our concept guns, one of them that we're looking at doing. We're trying to gauge interest and that's why we brought it to the show. So this one is uh, will also be available as just a lower if somebody can buy and then slap a jackal upper on if they already have if they already have a jackal, they have a, an upper that's compatible with this lower kit? Um absolutely. Absolutely. And that includes this little like this cheek piece there, which is just a, a way to cover the pick rail because this is at the end of the day a monolithic uh rail upper it goes all the way back to your face contact it does yep and it also is a nice little blend into the stock makes it look a little better yeah we were playing with this one a little bit out there and uh trigger surprisingly good 
Um, I think the, the myth of like bullpups having bad triggers is like, has been a solved problem because there are some good bullpup triggers out there and that one seems perfectly adequate. And then I was just kind of shocked at how like natural it feels to use the AR controls, even when they're back. Maybe that's just muscle memory, but yeah, surprisingly good. You guys don't have to really reposition any uh, of the controls other than the uh, trigger and the safety and it all kind of falls to hand for right-handed people. I guess left-handed people are completely out of luck. Yep. Yep. No, uh, we've done a good job with this. Our team has uh, put a lot of work into it and we're excited to bring it out as one of our concept guns. Fantastic. Well, thank you for walking us through the range. Uh, we might want to take these back before the police arrive. I think I can still hear the sirens or just the echoes in my own head. Thank you guys very much for watching. Stay tuned to TFB TV and TFB TV Showtime. We have a lot of stuff still to come from SHOT Show 2024, including here at PSA, if they'll let us get away with it. Thank <laughs> you.